In Western Central Africa, there's a different kind of pandemic. Huge quantities of fake medicines manufactured and smuggled across borders. But in Benin, they're cracking down hard, seizing hundreds of thousands of potentially fatal drugs. In the main city, Cotonou, customs officers pursue a group of smugglers. The penalties here are high. The smugglers abandon their vehicles and their stash. Any medicines made or transported here without the right authorization are automatically classified as fake. And these sacks are full of them. Across town, more fake medicines have been found. This driver was on his way to Benin's main market. Inside his rickshaw are 50 kilos of tramadol, a strong prescription painkiller. He says he knows nothing about it, but back at his house, officers discover more drugs. All the medicines seized this morning are stored in a warehouse where they're checked, reported to authorities, and then destroyed. Au total, nous avons we have seized 39 kilos of face masks and more than six tons of illegal pharmaceuticals. We carry out observation missions, ambushes and chases. Smugglers have lots of tricks. They remove the back seats to make more space. Sometimes they change their license plates or they hide products among fruit and vegetables. The market for fake drugs is worth around 200 billion US dollars worldwide each year. World Customs is an international organization that works with local customs officers to deal with this kind of crime. Right now, they're seizing fake drugs in 145 countries. It's their biggest ever crackdown on counterfeit medicines. When the pandemic starts, we receive some alerts regarding the increase of illicit trend of medicines, but also medical equipment linked to COVID-19. And then we took action, we took decision to set up the first global operation linked to COVID-19. Since the operation began, World Customs say they've seized more than 307 million illegal medical items around the world. 99.5% of all of those were in West and Central Africa. Benin shares borders with four different countries, and for decades it's been a thoroughfare for illegal medicines made in India and China, destined for countries like Nigeria. But in 2016, the government changed its approach. This market was once known as Benin's open-air pharmacy, but now there are no medicines for sale on display. We used to sell fake drugs here, but the government sent police to seize our medicines, so we had to change our goods. Today, I'm selling lots of things like cosmetics. Many sellers went bankrupt and had to go back to their villages, like the person who owned this shop before me. I've heard that a lot of people suffer from kidney failure in Benin, and we were blamed for it. So overall, I think it's a good fight. Fake drugs kill more than a million people worldwide each year, so customs officers have an important job. I've been a customs officer for 16 years. I joined by chance, but I find it fascinating. People think of customs officers as pot-bellied men blowing their whistles to bother street sellers. But our customs administration is elite. We have smart minds. Think about all the counterfeit products in circulations that we've seized. I'm proud to lead a team that's achieved a record number of seizures for Benin. To get all the latest news and videos on trending topics, just subscribe to our YouTube channel here.